just a few laps remain here at the Glen. Will the youngster, Mark Davis, be able to bring it home and take the checkers? Or how about the veteran, Matt Kobaluk? Jeffrey Earnhardt running third, or the pole sitter, Antonio Perez? One of the most important restarts of Mark Davis's career right here. It's gonna be a great finish. Green is back out. Couple of laps to run. Look oh. at Kobaluk! Contact! Matt Kobalak, an aggressive restart, has taken the lead. Problem looks like it may be a flat tire for Mark Davis. Perez now running second right on Kobalak's bumper. Boy, a, you're right, a tough break for Davis in the 18 as he has fallen back. But Perez, the pole sitter now with his shot. And in third, it is Jeffrey Earnhardt in the eighth. Oh, trouble. Austin Dillon sideways. A lot of damage to that number three car. Caution is out again as Dillon is spun. You saw the damage on the right side to his car. There's Mark Davis, a slim Jim Toyota, limping around with a flat tire after that restart contact with Matt Kovalak. Boy, all kinds of things going on here in the final laps. Kovalak. Antonio Perez currently running in the second position. Do not see the caution yet. Ooh, Perez gets real wide. Come up off the He must have a flat tire. White flag is out. Perez has a flat tire, and this is the final lap. Matt Kobaluk. Only guy left to beat him now is Jeffrey Earnhardt. Trevor Bain running third. Jeffrey got really, really loose down there in turn number one. There's Trevor Bain, good job by him, running third right now. Another DEI car, I think Jesus Hernandez is running fourth. Matt Kobaluk. The caution is out now, I believe. The white flag had already been displayed, so I would think that would mean this would be an official race. All Matt Kobaluk has to do now, as you can see Mark Davis limping around after that restart, contact with Matt Kobaluk. All Matt Kobaluk has to do now is maintain caution speed and get back around to the start-finish line, and he gets his first win at Watkins Glen. Boy, he will be excited. He talked about how much winning here would mean to him. He was so fired up about his chances in this race. He's had such tough luck in so many events over the last year or so. Here's a short shoot between the outer loop and turn 10, the left-hander. Not today. It's, it looks like he's going to be able to bring that number 40 home. He's going to be one happy guy. He's won a lot of races in this series, but uh, never won here at Watkins Glen. His family will all be excited around him. His son's even started racing now. He's a youngster around seven years old, racing go-karts. There's the yellow and checkers being displayed and Matt Kovalak, you can tell, waving that arm out the window. He has won here at the Glen. He did a nice job, a great pit strategy. He got track position by that early green flag pit stop and that put him in position to be right here. And his longtime crew chief, Terry Waite, has to be given some credit as well. Matt Kobaluk, your winner at the Glen. Mike, let's take a look at the restart here that caused the contact. There's the contact right there. It cut down the left front tire on Mark Davis's car. He had the lead on that restart. Remember, we talked about how important it was. Unfortunately, he came on in a short end. Boy, what great aggressive driving by Matt Kobaluk. Let's go down now to Derek. Derek? Matt, come on down here. Four years ago, you left here with a top five finish. Today, you leave a winner. I'll tell you, it's uh, four years in the making. Last couple years, we ran here at the Glen. Um, we felt like we had a guard good enough to win, but circumstances just didn't play out. And uh, when we found out we were coming back here to the Glen early on before the season started, we marked it on the calendar. And I said, uh, I said, guys, that's the race I want. I want that bad. So uh, <clears throat> we brought our best piece here. And uh, we had problems during practice, blew an engine, 
guys changed it out. We didn't like the transmission gear. Two times we changed out the gear and the transmission. I mean, my guys, hats off this Mohegan Sun team. They dug hard this weekend, and uh, I dug hard out on the racetrack. So it's a, it's a sweet victory, and I got to say hi to my wife. She's uh, back at Little T with, uh, with my son racing there. And uh, when I call, hopefully he won his race today too. So good day, great day for us. The 18 was so fast, your crew chief was saying how he had so much power and straightaway speed. You didn't know how you were going to get him. But on the restart, he looked like he had problems. What happened on that final restart? I don't know. I mean, it, he had a, geez, I'll tell you, I've never seen such a bad handle in race car get up through the S's and down the back stretch so good. I was hitting my marks and get right up through them. I just couldn't get a run on him. Through the carousel turn two, he was really tight. And I could get right underneath him, but then he'd pull right away from me. You know, it was, he had incredible horsepower. So on that last restart, you know, on cold tires, I was quite substantially better than he was. And on that last restart, I don't know if he was running out of fuel or what it was, but he protected the inside. So I just went right to the outside and got a run going down in there into one, and I was going for it. This win was mine. There's no way anyone was getting it. Congratulations. Matt Thank Kobaluk you. wins the Camping World 150 Woo! today. And an emotional day for Matt Kobaluk. Boy, aggressive on that last lap, and here's the result. He won. Great day for DEI. Three cars in the top four positions, and Steve Park overcomes that flat tire to get a top five just in the last couple laps. And a top ten for Ricky Carmichael. Austin Dillon survives that last wreck to finish 12. See, Peyton Sellers had trouble. Finishes back in the 18th position. You see the rest of the finishers today. Brian Eichler, 24th. Now let's go back down to Derek. Jeffrey started 10th, went home with the podium finish. Not a bad run today. No, you know it's a great day for uh, the whole DI and co DI Corporation. Um, you know me second, Trevor third, and Hayes is fourth. You can't ask anything better, well, other than to win. But um, you know you can't can't ask anything. I don't think better of. Us three drivers, considering the amount of time we got on a road course, but uh, you know it's, it was a great day. We um, long weekend, worked hard all through the weekend. Really didn't change much off the trailer, and uh, we just we just tried getting laps and you know figure the track out. And uh, I did like Mike told me. He told me to race the track, not everybody else, and uh, you'll come come out with a good uh, finish. And you know we just stayed patient, took our time, and took everybody one one turn at a time. And here we are in second place. Was a good day for Jeffrey Earnhardt. Austin Dillon maintains the points lead. He yeah, actually uh, opens it up again. Gains a few points on Brian Eichler, who had trouble finish back in the 24th spot. Steve Park in third now, only two points out of second. And Kovalev and Jeffrey Earnhardt. That'll do it from here at the Glen for Derek Pernasigli, Ellen Phil Parsons. I'm Mike Hogwood. Saying congratulations once again to Matt Kovalev, the winner of the Camping World Series race here at the Glen. So long, everybody.